about the people who visited Hyde Park was by imagining that they had been defeated in their life. They were dejected and disappointed men and women who fought and lost. Their fortunes had fallen and their hopes were dead. They came to the park in their shabby clothes and bowed shoulders and unhappy eyes at the hour of dusk in a bat-like fashion in order to remain unnoticed and unrecognized. The next question, what is irony? Bring out some elements of irony in the story. So irony is a figure of speech which consists of a statement that appears to be praise but in real uh, condemnation. In other words, it can be a statement which is against the expectation. It is, literally, it is a literally technique uh, which has been used by Saki in his story Dusk. At first, when the young man remarks with a curse, you wouldn't be in a good temper if you were in the fix I am in, which results immediately Godsby's reaction who seems in a fix instead of the young man. Secondly, when the same young man speaks impressively, I suppose you think I have spun you rather an impossible yarn. But later, the same false story becomes possible by the circumstances which are an irony. One more irony in the story is that Godsby convinced himself that it is a lesson to him not to be too clever in judging by circumstances and ultimately falls prey to his own statement. What is juxtaposition? Has Saki been able to juxtapose humor and path pathos in dusk? Juxtaposition means a combination of putting things together to show contrast or comparison. In literature, it occurs whenever two or more events or characters are combined so that one could be able to compare or contrast them in a better way. In the story Dusk, Saki has juxtaposed humor and pathos in a very subtle manner. We see pathos in the description of people who have fallen fortunes and whose hopes are dead. There is pathos in the description of the elderly gentleman to whose piping no one dances. The left of the same elderly gentleman who seemed to have lost interest in his life and coming in of the young man with a cheerful face and fairly dressed is an example of juxtaposition. The final question, give a character sketch of Godsby. Godsby is judgmental and disturbing. He feels confused in his life and he doesn't vi uh, viably make up for it. He is baffled and doubtful. He has much to learn about human nature and reality. He is a critical observer of humanity. He views life as a fight. He is cunning from various perspectives. 